What's going on guys, it's Cousin Tech here and today I'm going to show you how to create custom vessels also known as overlays in RetroArch using two softwares one is called GIMP and the other is Photoshop this tutorial is going to be in simple steps so you can pick whichever software you want and it doesn't matter if you know how to use them remember the links will be in the description so are you ready? Alright, for those of you who doesn't know, GIMP is a multi-platform software and that means that you can use it in Windows, Linux and Mac and it's free, but in the case of Photoshop it's not free and it's only available for Windows and Mac, no Linux. So I will be doing this tutorial in Windows, but the steps will be the same in any platform. Now before we begin, we need templates to make our job easier. That depends on the type of the vessel that you will create. And for that, I will be leaving a download link with two folders. In one folder, you will find a few vessel templates, and in the other, you will see the few ready to go package of vessels that you can use. For example, with Retroarch. And in case you still don't know how to use vessels in Retroarch, I will be leaving a video tutorial link in the description showing you the process step by step. Alright, let's start with GIMP. If you don't have it, you can go to this website to download it. Right here, just click in this. Right now the latest version is 2.10.20. So once you have it downloaded, install it and open it. Alright, once here, we need to add to GIMP our template and the image that we will use to create our vessel. To add them, you can do it in two ways. You can just drag and drop or by simply going here in File, then Open. Then search for it. Mine is here in Desktop, Borders. I'm gonna go with this one, yeah. Then hit Open. This is our template. Now we need to search for the image. In case you don't have it, you can go to your web browser and search for it. Now one thing that you have to keep in mind is the image that you will use has to be large enough. For example, 1920 by 1080 is a good one. Let's add it. File, open. Mine is here in desktop. Or I simply can drag and drop it. Like that. Now here, this is your image, the one that you will use to create your own vessel. Drag and drop it below, like that. Now click the template and reduce the opacity to at least uh, 50% or so. Alright, now select the image below. Now if you don't like what you're seeing right here, remember this is the template and this big size here is where your game will go. That means that now we will expand the image, for example, to make Mario to fit here in the bezel borders. For that, let's go here, Tools, Transform Tools, then Unify Transform, or simply press Shift plus T in the keyboard. Now here, move your mouse to this square until you see it is yellow not the center, just the outside, like that. Then press Ctrl in the keyboard, then drag it. Once done, hit Transform and that's it. Also you can move it a bit and hit Transform. Now if you're okay with these resorts, then select the upper image right here, then let's go to Layer, Transparency, and select Add to Selection or you can press Shift plus Art plus click on it like this. Now you're seeing this has selected the borders but we want to invert it in order for us to delete this part because if we don't invert it and we press Delete only this part will be deleted. 
for that let's go to select then invert or simply press ctrl plus i now the selection has inverted and only the center has been selected what we need to do now is click here in the image below then press delete in the keyboard just like that then hit here to hide the template so far we have finished and now we need to export it remember the image has to be in png format in order for us to export it let's go to file then export as or in the keyboard press shift plus ctrl plus e then select the path where you want to save it change the name here then hit sport then again hit sport now let's minimize this now here we have our new vessel but we still haven't finished with this one because we need to create another file in order for us to do that let's go and open notepad right here now this is important you have to copy exactly the details that I'm gonna type here in this document overlays equals to one then hit space two times then overlay zero down slash overlay equals then the name of our vessel mine says test test temp.png then hit enter two times then overlay zero this line here then full another line screen then true so you see here this is an empty space one here another here then another here here and here you cannot do this like that no one space always then then overlay zero line des cs space equals space zero once finished then hit save you have to name it exactly as our bezel is again mine says test right here before the dot test then after you have to delete that txt and change it for cfg then hit save now we can test it out real quick in order for you guys to see that it actually works let's copy this to the retroarch border directory let's start retroarch and again will work now let's go here screen overlay let's search for our vessel it says test this one and there you go all right then now let's go with photoshop all right let's open photoshop now let's add to Photoshop our template by going here to File, then Open. And there we go. Now we can do this too by drag and drop, like this. Now if you can see here in Photoshop, the images automatically stay divided. What we have to do here is drag and drop like this until we see that it fits just like that now the steps are pretty much the same let's drag and drop this one below then with our template let's reduce the opacity by at least 50 percent or so now for example if you want mario to fit in the border we have to expand the image and for that let's go to select here 
then go to here, edit, then free transformation, or simply press Ctrl plus T in the keyboard. Now, in the keyboard, press Shift and Art, then here in one of the corners, then move your mouse to any corner and move it. To expand it, then move it right here, like that. Once you're happy with it, then click here. Now, we need to delete the center of the image, and for that, press Ctrl, in the keyboard and then choose the template now pretty much the same as GIMP it has selected but only the outside what we want to select is the center and for that we have to invert the selection for that go here to select then select this inverse or in the keyboard press shift ctrl and a now that the center is selected, choose the image below, then hit delete, then let's hide the template, and there we go. Now we need to export it, remember, only in PNG format. Let's go to file, then save as, or in the keyboard, press shift ctrl plus s. Then select the path where you want to save your vessel change the name then right here click this and select PNG then hit save hit OK and that's it we have our new vessel right here only remember to do the same step by adding a CFG file open notepad And you can copy this one right here but we need to change this part right here with the name that our new vessel has in this case mine says test 2 just add 2 and copy this part then hit file and save as before the dot put the name test 2 then replace txt with cfg then hit save now let's test this one right here to see that it works let's add it to retroarch hit f1 then go here and, and select our new vessel now if you notice our vessel is not there it's pretty simple now that happens here is the name of our vessel have a space before the number two and for the vessels to work there must not be any kind of space in their names remember if you do any kind of changes you have to come here, open this, and change that too. Now let's copy this too. Alright, let's try this one. And there you go. That's pretty much it for this video guys. I really appreciate you watching. Remember that if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, let me know in the comments below. So hit like if you like it, dislike if you dislike it, subscribe for more content, but more important, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.